Hey everybody, it's your boy Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with a brand new Let's Play. Yeah, I told you guys I'd be doing this once I start getting things on track. And here we go. This game was made in 2011, uh, simply because the collection for it was made in 2011. Santa Monica Studio. Oh, I always thought it was Studios. Santa Monica Studio. Ready at Dawn Studios. Don't know what other games they made. What we have? God of War, Ghost of Sparta! Now this is literally the direct sequel to, um... Uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, oh my god, Chains of Olympus, jeez. So anyways, new game. Kratos, the Ghost of Sparta had taken his place amongst the Olympians as the god of war. The bloodshed, the relentless battles, had finally brought him here. Ares was dead, and though Olympus beckoned, visions of his mortal existence still haunted him. <laughs> Kratos knew that this was not a mere vision, for with the gods, nothing was ever as it seemed. The vision of his past set Kratos in search of answers, answers that lay in the temple of Poseidon, deep within the city of Atlantis. This is not a wise course of action, Kratos. It was a dream, nothing more. The visions still haunt me, Athena. The visions you promised to take away. But this vision, I can change. Perhaps it is a vision best left unchanged. There is more to this than you know. Please. God, God damn, we got aquatic soldiers this time. Kratos looks so grumpy, he's like, really, Nostalgia Scott, you brought me back again? Yeah, we don't have our block swing yet, so. Ooh, our blade picture changed. Looks so much better. I'll grab you at some point. Great, a beast. What kind of beast is it this time? I like these aquatic soldiers though. They look like they work for Poseidon. Yes, my minions, and for some reason I was running straight into the wall. I'm gonna get some orbs, thank you, because I believe this game's a lot harder to get orbs. Dude, I know. The buttons are still going to be circle and stuff, and it's not R1. Hyperion Charge. I believe you actually have to get that as an upgrade later on, like in the other games. But remember, this is a direct sequel to technically God of War 1. So we'll have a lot of abilities, including also the ability to breathe underwater and stuff in this game. The gods have not forsaken us. I am a god. I am the god of war, fool. What do you think I am? Ooh. Well, there's an explanation on the orbs. We don't really need that, though. The tentacle? What the hell is that? Evade, okay. We have little crab like creatures. Is 
Sorry, Mr. Dude. Come on, attack me. I know you, I know you want to. There we go. That little guy still hurt me, though. Whoa. That arm, I got underneath the arm somehow. Oh, we don't have like a mass triangle attack or anything yet. Oh, there we go. Enter the mini game. What do we have to do this time? Anything? Nope, apparently not. this. Sire! Oh god, that thing hurts like some yacht. Yo, you ugly menace. You got some weird-ass tentacles going on there. Bye-bye. Oh, you're just gonna spawn crab leaves. Those like mini U's. More of them. Nasty. Okay, apparently these things can trap you. Oh! We knocked it down. Ooh, there's some kind of wheel. I think we need that. I honestly don't get how you can double jump. I know how to use the crane wheel. It's literally telling me to press, press it rapidly, you know? There we go. Now we got him hooked. Now do we do? Circle. Circle. You're just gonna get me to press circle lots? Yeah, you're just getting me to push circle. Nope, you injured it and got away, but... Uh, oh well, maybe we'll kill it some other point. Dental work! Yay, for trophies. Boom. Alright. Ooh. I swear that's a different chest. Gorgon Eye! Yeah, they do look different in this game. That's cool. Let's go down the rope. Oh yeah, see, so you can swim in this game right away. There's also a save point right here. I guess we'll click this. Create new save data. Well, we are on the way to the city of Atlantis. Ruins of Atlantis. Well, okay, maybe the ruins. I believe... Trident rules over Poseidon while, or I mean, over Atlantis while Poseidon rules over the entire ocean. But he sits up in uh, Olympus while Trident is actually down below. Oh, man, I forgot how slow these open. Ooh, even slower than the first game. Come, or like, uh, actually, both. No, you couldn't open in the first game. It's in the first uh, Origins game. It's a giant drill. Man, we had drills in the past. That's that's cool, I guess. Eh, it takes 29.50 to upgrade it. We almost have enough to upgrade it. There are people who go through the game without upgrading it, but I highly recommend don't do that because you kind of need to upgrade. Oh, L1 to drop. That's a weird button command. Wait, there's nothing over here? Really? There's absolutely no point to that. This is weird. I don't know why they wouldn't do something, Aaron. What do we got up here? Oh, just enemies. I'm fine with that. Oh, there's more than I was anticipating. There we go. Crack some skulls. 
And break down walls, because that's fun. I don't think we can go up where the enemies were, so whatever. The chests do look different in this game. This game did add some different graphical changes to the game. It actually looks really nice. Our blades are also different. They're not the same that we had in the first uh, Origins. Oh no, Minotaur. Grapple point. That's a new feature. I believe that actually stays in all the God of Wars though. Because I believe this game was actually made after God of War 2. So it had features of God of War 2, yet... This game technically comes after, even though it technically plays first in the series. There we go, that Minotaur's dead. Okay. Oh, God damn it! You're back! I thought I got rid of you. Oh, cut off its tentacle. Lovely. What are we doing? Oh, we're opening up a gate. Alright. Cool. Looks like we have to hop up here. Yeah, I know how to ledge vault. It's not a very difficult to do game. Boink! And boink. Yeah. Once again, perfect spot for a secret, but nothing in this game. In Chains of Olympus, there are a lot of easy to find secrets, if you know what I mean. There aren't really much of a secret. I like how in the end we also kill our own soldiers half the time, see? Yeah, that stopped him from blocking. We almost have enough orbs to upgrade. Still short a bit, but mm, not much we can do about it. Climbable surfaces with the wall climb ability. Oh, not gonna make me attack enemies on the wall yet? Yeah, figures. Lots of health. So we should never die here. And we got some more wall climbing. Yay! One of the slowest mechanics of all time. Well, not wall climbing, ledge vault and vaulting, whatever you call it. These things have boomerang blades. Yay, lovely. I'm sorry, but you give me red orbs. Your goal here? Oh. Watch this. You, do, you can deflect blades back at them. Dude, hold still. Yay! We have enough to upgrade. Oh, there's a secret chest over here. Don't mind if I do. Chest. Second Gorgon Eye. And now we can upgrade. Hopefully they kept the faster upgrading. Yep, they kept it. There, we now have our Cyclone of Chaos. That'll help with groups of enemies. Uh, there's... Oh, making uh, the makings of God. I don't have any of the trophies for this game right now, apparently. One, two, three, four, five items again. So, there's always five plus your main. See anything else around here? Nothing. Just open up this gate. Just tap circle. Oh, I see what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to push this rock. Oh, this is the game that did the increased speed if you go the same way with it. Well, as long as you're pushing. Goddamn blade throwers. Hey, you! See, now we also do a lot more damage. When I mean a lot more, I mean a lot. Also... What button do we... Oh, we can't actually kick it. I guess you can't kick stuff in this game. Oh, we activated a grapple by turning off the water. I guess the water pressure was too strong for us to go through. Woohoo! Yeah. Perfect. Why did I open that? There's enemies right here. Oh, Cyclone of Chaos is awesome on these guys. Oh, we even parried them somehow. 
I don't even know how I did that, cause... Yeah, <laughs> whatever, I'm not gonna complain. And we need, uh, how many do we need to upgrade to the next? We need 8550 and we get all our Hercules stuff. I believe this game has less to do with the gods than with your own personal life. Do we still have the slide ability? Yep. Yeah. Oh, it actually just tells us right there. Cool. Ooh, free red orbs. Also, planks. Don't forget to destroy all the breakables. Because like I said, I believe this game is a lot harder to get 100% on than you think. <sighs> See, we're only at 400. Like, it's honestly going up slow, so like I said, collect everything. Oh, that's probably the end of our episode over there. The Temple of Thanatos, the God of Death. A vestige of a long forgotten time. Erected before the rule of the Olympians, this temple was not placed here by mortal hands. Within its walls, lay a passage to the domain of death. Ooh. So this leads us to Thanatos' realm. Nice. Death Gate. Can we do anything here yet? The Temple of Thanatos, God of Death. Within its walls lies the entrance to a world that no mortal dares enter. He who possesses the, the skull of Ceres will be granted safe passage through the Death Gate. So yeah, in Greek mythology, Thanatos is actually a, I guess, like, lesser god. He's not as well known. So yeah, it looks like we're going to have to go in there, but eh, no secrets. So anyways, in the next episode, we will be continuing on seeing what else we can find here.